I share with you that it's important that you understand where your gifts and talents come from. Whether these things are things that are uh, talents that you work into your own self, they're talents that are inspired by you. Watch your inspired talents will go a certain direction. But things that God has birthed in you. How do you know when it's birth of God? That's the question. When you did nothing, watch this, to create a thing or make a thing come into existence. When you understand that it wasn't your, that you couldn't help or add to anything. The truth of the matter is some of you are birthed with callings. That the truth of the matter is that if we asked anybody, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing because you didn't help it go along. But somehow he birthed it inside you. Touch somebody and say, I'm carrying a baby. I'm carrying something that I didn't do anything to help him. I just laid there and let him did it. I, I, I found him on the on a on a bunk. I found him on a bed. I found him in a crack pack. I found him at drunk. I found him in the bar. I found him messed up and shut up and my mind crazy. But somehow when I didn't even have enough in my mind to be a participant, he overshadowed me for the time that I'm in right now. Pregnation is an important thing that you understand in this text. Because understanding where the thing that you carry in your life comes from will explain to you the next course of action that she would have. See, if she was carrying a baby that was a sign from Joseph, <laughs> it wouldn't be the same destiny that she would experience. Yes, sir. Yes. There are some byproducts that you're getting ready to experience in your life because of the thing that you're carrying. Look at somebody and say, the reason I'm going through half of the stuff I'm going through is because of the thing that I'm carrying. See, I think what messes up some believers, this is what messes them up. They assume that they're carrying an ordinary gift. <laughs> they think that they've got an ordinary assignment. Yeah, this assignment is not for the ordinary, it's for the extraordinary. And whenever God gives you an extraordinary impregnation, there are several factors that this text will deal with that are unorthodox of normality. Now watch what it says. Watch. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, in verse 19. Um, and Joseph was her husband, being a just man, not willing to make her a public example, was mindful to put her away privately. Now, first thing, first, first, first law, is that whenever God gets ready to give you some stuff, um, he will connect you with people that love you, but they may not understand what's going on with you. Say just because they love you don't mean they understand what God is currently doing with you. And, and, and they, will, they will try to deal with you based on the fact that they love you, not based on the fact that you are impregnated with a destiny. And so sometimes you got to understand it's weird. Because watch this. Joseph ain't loving Debbie no, up on her now. You got to understand that sometimes your purpose will alienate you. Watch this. The thing that you carry on your life will alienate you and make you different because of the assignment that's put on you. That's good.